Welcome to the How to Set Up Wolf Mame to Play Donkey Kong by Donkey Kong Genius. First thing you want to do is create a file folder on your desktop and label it Wolf Mame. We're going to be downloading some files and you're going to want to put them in this folder. So open up your web browser and uh, the way we're going to do this, we're going to go to uh, DonkeyKongForum.com. I posted some links there on how uh, to download. Uh, this is a great forum to familiarize yourself with. You should register. We're going to go to the Donkey Kong High Score list. You will see that I have some links on here. Uh, one to download the Wolf Main. So you click on that and hit download. And while that's downloading, we're going to go ahead and click on the other link to download the game. It's just called a ROM. Just scroll down, click download now. We have to wait for the link. So when that pops up, just click on that. We know that's been downloaded. I'm going to close that. Uh, we have a few moments here uh, before that's done. In the meantime, I'm just going to show you some things on the Donkey Kong forum. This is the Donkey Kong high score list. You'll see a list of names, and um, some of the names are hyperlinked. You click on their name, it'll take you directly to their uh, streaming page on Twitch. And I uh, also have uh, their high scores evidenced uh, by sourcing it to various videos that you can watch. Uh, to prove their scores. Uh, this is very interesting. You should spend some time in here and check it out. There are rules to get on the list. Uh, normatively, uh, you would uh, stream on Twitch, um, but there are some auxiliary rules as well. I also have a uh, video on here on uh, how to play the rivet stage. I'll be having some more as well. Uh, here is a list of everybody who streams. Uh, you can just click on here and see who's streaming and who's not. Uh, click on their name and watch them live. There are a lot of interesting uh, discussions that take place on the Donkey Kong forum. Um, you know, we have here a little shout box. You can say hello. It's kind of a interactive live um, uh, instant message. I'll just click hello everyone. And uh, you'll see there's some general discussions in here. You can create posts and create uh, discussions. Uh, we have some basic strategies to look at. Uh, here's the Donkey Kong training videos that I'm working on. Uh, thread for discussions there. And we also have some advanced ideas in there as well. And you can, uh, if you have any questions about streaming, you may want to post them here. There's some uh, games that you can look at. Um, I believe Dean's game is on there. You want to check that out. We have player blogs uh, where people post their progress and talk about their gameplay. Of course, we have the list where we have the Donkey Kong high score and the, um, the kill screen uh, timeline. We see here that the file is done. Go ahead and keep it. So your uh, browser or computer may think it's malware, but uh, you ignore that. Uh, we know that the file is good. Go to where your files were downloaded. And we're going to take the wolf zip file and place it into that uh, file folder we create on your desktop and we're going to extract that. We did this way so that it extracts within the file folder. Once again, your computer is uh, identifying as malware. You can just go ahead and ignore that. Okay, now we want to go into the ROMs file and uh, place our Donkey Kong ROM in there. 
leave it unzipped, just place it in there and uh, everything will be good. You might want to create a desktop shortcut for this uh, execution file. So we'll go ahead and open that up. The file is good. This takes a moment to uh, start up. Now we want to go into the options tab and go to directories. We need to hit browse and we need to find the file folder that we placed the WOOF file. I put it right on my desktop so the round file is right there. This causes the program to search that folder so that uh, you'll see Donkey Kong there. Go ahead and go to the properties for Donkey Kong and uh, as you can see the most most everything is not going to get changed, but go ahead and change in your advanced the size resolution to 1024 times 768. You hit apply and OK. Everything else should be good. Right clicking will show you some options. Uh, you want to be familiar with that. We're going to hit play, type OK on your keyboard, and then enter. And we're going to see the game. Now we want to adjust some things within the program itself by hitting the tab key will bring us some instructions. The key right above that will control the volume. So we're going to hit our tab key and we'll look at the dip switches. Here we can change how many lives you want when you get a bonus live. If you want to compete, leave it at 3 and 7,000. Okay, we want to go to input this game and we want to go down and change the player 1 um, key. So we're going to hit enter, up, enter, down, enter, left, enter, right, and then enter spacebar. This is going to uh, give you the mobility with the keyboard to be able to play the game. Go to input general user interface. I usually change the toggle full screen the bottom to F. Uh, it's personal preference. Um, I also I like to change the load state, the safe state to F6 and load state to F7. Once again, personal preference, I've just become used to that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, reset the game. We're going to hit 5 on the keyboard, puts a quarter in it, and then hit 1. It's like hitting the player 1 button. And we're going to check out our uh, our new settings, make sure everything looks good. See the jump button is working. I can move right. I can go up and down a ladder. I can move to the left. And I have sound for the game. So everything's looking good so far. Uh, next, uh, just a simple demonstration of how to uh, use the uh, save and load states. Let's say you make a mistake in the game and uh, you wish you would have done a save state because you're practicing and you wanted to try out something. Well, what you want to do is play to the moment in the game where you may want to uh, do, a, do a save state. And you can hit M, anything from 1 to M on the keyboard uh, that will designate it. Let's say you're playing that out, you make a mistake, you hit F7 to load, you hit M, and it'll take you right back to where you were. Okay, so everything seems to be functioning well. I'll show you a few more things. Um, when you Right click, you'll see a uh, play game and uh, record input. Uh, this is how you can save your game. I'll just put in test. Hit OK. So at this point, anything that you do in the game is going to uh, be saved into these two files. And uh, I'll just demonstrate here how that works. So I'll do something crazy and recognizable so that uh, you'll see how this plays back perfectly.
So we're going to exit out of there. We're going to go to File. We're going to replay the input. Then we're going to choose the input file. Hit Enter. And at this point, it's just playing the input for the INP file. You can see everything is identical, so we can exit out of there. So we'll just close the program here. We're going to open up the file, open up the WIF files, and go into the INP folder. And you're going to see uh, two files there. There's the uh, um, .INP and the .WLF. Uh, you can rename those. Anytime you rename them, you have to keep the .INP at the end and the .WLF. And make sure that the name that you're choosing for your game is identical in both the INP and WLF. Uh, the reason why you would want to uh, say this, of course, if you did a million point game, you want to make sure that you can prove it if you weren't streaming. And then you can just stream your INP, let, let people know you're streaming it so people can uh, view your work. Uh, also, if you're uh, submitting to Twin Galaxies, uh, you would want to create a zip folder and throw those, make a copy of the IMP and WF files, place them into the zip folder. Now the way it was uh, working uh, back in the day is so that you would submit that file. So if that's how it's going to continue to happen, that's great. If not, then you know how it used to be done on the Twin Galaxies website. So uh, that's about uh, all that uh, I think is necessary to know about it. Uh, enjoy your game. Uh, try to put up some high scores there in the high score list. Now make sure you follow the rules and uh, register for the Donkey Kong forum and post your scores.